First of all, many congratulations. What does it feel like? You can imagine. I I don't know what I am right now. I think everyone in the in the dressing room is the is the same. The feeling is is unbelievable. Personally, I played twice this competition, but never never been more than quarterfinal. So uh, really, really, really happy. The third goal was a really important goal. All the goals are important, but the third goal. It's over. It's finished. It's it's done and dusted. Um, in terms of it coming so early in the second half, what did, what did that feel like? And to play the rest of the second half, knowing you're going through, and and they look dispirited by long before then. Well, to be fair, is what we've been doing these last two years. Just uh, being in a good shape and try to run when we have a, sp a space. But obviously, we we knew in in this stadium with the people. Winning to win, uh, to nil, it's not gonna be. It's gonna isn't a, a, a really easy game. In in a in a moment in in this competition, you you can be in a draw, you can be out. So that goal in the early part of the second half was was even more more easy for for play the rest of the game for us. Finally, from me, I've got some bad news for you. You're not going back to Spain for the semi-final. Yeah. Uh, would you like to play Barcelona in a, in a way or not? Well, in, <laughs> in this moment, uh, everyone who is in semi-finals, I think, deserve it. So uh, I don't really care against. Just if we are all together, I think we, we have big chances to, to play against every team. We, we showed... Uh, everyone, what we are doing in Premier League for these two seasons. So, I think right now is everything 50-50. But you are just two, <laughs> two games now from a final, two games from lifting the trophy, two games from maybe some silverware. Um, how are you, you going to keep your feet on the floor for the next couple of weeks? Well, uh, it's two games, but we also still in a great position in the league. Uh, we have to still do our, our, our job in, in Premier League because everything can happen in Europe and when you smell the, the moment of what was happening in, in Europa, you always want to play Europa. So to do that, I think we, we have to still do our best in both competitions. Gail? You've talked a lot this season about doing it for each other. What a close-knit group you are. What was it like out there with that realisation? What did you say to each other? Uh, it was an unbelievable moment for everyone. Everyone was hu hugging each, each other. And the dressing room was, for, for a moment, like, like a big party. But uh, this is how we've been playing as a as a team, as a family, everyone running for each other. Uh, doesn't matter who is inside, who is on the bench. The changes, the changes always bring something new, something fresh. And I think this is our basis. Hi, Pablo. Uh, I want to ask you, do you want to dedicate this victory to someone in particular, maybe Ogbonna, who's had a difficult season? Uh, it is. Uh, it is for him, but he has the chance to be here with us. So I think he's, he's enjoying the same or even more than us. Uh, but not just him, it's a lot of people around the training ground every day make us everything easier. Uh, the people who work on the grass, uh, people who who do the kitchen job. I think everyone in, in West Ham is, is doing a, a really great job. And this is not just about players, because behind the players is a lot of people supporting us and making us being as good as we are. Did you expect this moment like two years ago when you were like uh, involved in a relegation battle to one day or even in two years' time to be where you are now? Never, never. I'm really honest with you. I never, I never dreamed in this moment. 
but may it's an unbelievable moment. I don't gonna, I don't want to be down of this horse. I I just keep, I just want to keep going. Jack, um, Pablo, you've spoken about you know all the celebrations on the pitch and that, but can you just take us inside the dressing room? What that was like, you know, were there any chants going on post match in in the changing room? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone screaming, everyone jumping, with music on. Uh, yeah, the emotions went outside, so I think it was an, an, a really, really, really lovely moment for everyone. It was a bit of a shaky start. There were a few chances for them at the start. Was there a moment after sort of 20, 25 minutes when you felt a shift on the pitch? Was there anything that made you feel like, you know, you can do this now? I don't know. I think the, the first game was was a bit similar. They started better than us because this is a fact. But uh, we didn't concede. We are still in our shape for the whole game and we just were growing. Uh, in terms of the game was growing as well. And I think uh, for the last 25, 20 minutes of the first half, was just one team in, on the pitch, and after that, with the third goal, we just killed the game, and was was tried to do our best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great guys, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you.